हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल्स बाय वृशाली प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट एक्जैक्टली ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ओएस विद सिंपल सुपर इजी एग्जांपल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओएस प्लेलिस्ट इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अवर नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाट एक्जैक्टली वर्चुअल मशीन लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन If you are a engineering students or diploma students this is the best channel for you here you have got the everything so please subscribe it and also share it with your friends that will be beneficial for everyone now our first question is what exactly virtual machine let's take a example as a user you have a windows operating system in your physical device but due to some reason you also want linux operating system now what to do so there was a hypervisor because of hypervisor you can install multiple operating system on same physical device so this multiple operating system are called as virtual machine and this complete process is called as virtualization now let's understand in detail now our next topic is why virtual machine necessary you can install multiple operating systems on your physical device no need to buy a multiple products again as a developer as a tester you can test multiple softwares viruses on virtual machine it didn't affect on your physical device that's why it provide the safe testing environment as a student you can learn multiple operating systems like linux fedora then mac os again ubuntu so that will be helpful for students for learning and training purpose next it companies may run multiple virtual machines on a big server it provide the efficient use of hardware and memory resources again there are multiple virtual machines if any one virtual machines get attacked or fail it didn't affect on the other that's why it's provide the secure environment so these are the reasons that's why we use virtual machines and virtualization process again our next topic is what are the different components of virtual machine so there are main three components host machine guest machine and hypervisor host machine means your real physical computer means in your laptop suppose there is a windows operating system this is your host machine and on that host machine you can install multiple virtual machines like ubuntu linux fedora so this virtual machines are also called as guest operating system and next there is a hypervisor so hypervisor manage all the virtual machines there are multiple softwares like virtual box vmware they efficiently provide hardware and memory resources to each and every virtual machines so these are the three main components of virtualization process now the next point is what exactly hypervisor see here in this diagram so there is your original physical device windows operating system have installed right this is a host operating system now on windows os you need to install multiple operating system as per the user requirement see there are linux virtual machine and fedora virtual machine so all these virtual machines are handled by the hypervisor in market there are some popular hypervisors like vmware then kvm that is kernel virtual machine oracle virtual box again microsoft hyper v so these all hypervisors handle all the virtual machines basically they work like a manager or controller between your physical operating system and virtual operating system so this is a hypervisor they create and run multiple virtual machines on your single physical computer now let's take a example suppose your host operating system specifications are they have 16 gb ram 500 gb ssd and octa core processor so this hypervisor they divide 4 gb ram to the linux virtual machine and again 4 gb ram to the fedora virtual machine again there is a octa core processor so dual core processor handle linux virtual machine 
another dual core processor handle fedora virtual machine so this is a work of hypervisor to efficiently distribute all the hardware and software resources to the virtual machine right now our next topic is different types of virtual machine so there are total three types system process and cloud based virtual machine so as we discuss earlier on your single physical device you can install multiple operating system by using hypervisor so this concept is called as system virtual machine system virtual machine generally used to try different operating system to test and learn different softwares different applications on different operating system so at that time system virtual machine have used the next one is a process virtual machine it is generally designed to run a single application or single program let's take a example when you have executed java program it didn't directly execute on your operating system instead of that they use jvm that is java virtual machine java virtual machine convert your java code into the machine understandable language or binary language only for time of execution so this is called as process virtual machine jvm then pvm python virtual machine these are the best example of this again the next one is a cloud based virtual machine so cloud virtual machine is hosted on the internet in the cloud not on your laptop or pc you can take this cloud based virtual machine on rent or use remotely the best examples are azure virtual machine then aws ec2 instance or gce that is google cloud engine you can use all this virtual machine for website hosting purpose or any enterprise application hosting hosting purpose or any other used so this is called as cloud based virtual machine now let's understand some real life examples of virtual machine the first thing is developer used virtual machines to test different operating systems and different applications no need to buy a different products again in cyber security and ethical hacking domain ethical hacker use kali linux as a virtual machine they try different hacking tools so because of virtual machine it didn't affect on your original devices again student can use and install different operating systems on their physical device so for learning purpose for testing purpose and also for training purpose virtual machine is best again to run some legacy softwares sometimes what happen companies need some old versions of operating system to execute a particular application suppose windows xp is there so they use old versions of operating system as a virtual machine so they didn't affect on your physical device again for website hosting purpose different enterprise application hosting purpose cloud virtual machine is best you can take it rent also used remotely again some disaster recovery and backup here organization keep virtual machines backup so they can quickly restore and reuse it again user browse the internet inside the virtual machine to avoid any malware to avoid any attacks so virtual machines are best so as per your previous year question paper these two are the most important questions like to describe the concept of virtual machine with some implementation and benefits again brief example of virtual machine for 7 marks the next question is to explain about the concept of virtual machine and its advantages for 4 marks so prepare all these questions completely hope you should understand about virtual machine so if you like it please subscribe it and share this with your friends thank you keep learning